So here is our face that we want to blur. I want to blur this guy out right here. And it's a handheld shot. So he's moving around and it's going to take some tracking. So the first step is to duplicate our video layer. I'm going to do that by holding Alt and dragging this up to there. So now we've got two of the same thing. And now we want to apply our circle tool. You type in circle and put that on your top layer. Now we've got a circle. We need to go into our effects tab and get that to where it needs to go. But we don't want to do a white circle. We want to do a blurred face. So under blending mode, we stencil alpha. Now it looks like it didn't do anything, and that is because we haven't applied our blur effect to the bottom layer. So we're going to drop a Gaussian blur on video one, and uh, going to crank the blurriness up on that to about 75 or so. And now you're saying, well, wait a minute, that's backwards. So we're going to invert the circle. And now we have our blurred face. There is a feather option. When you increase the feathering, it gives you a real nice, subtle blurred circle. So now you've got your blurred circle. What we want to do is we want to keyframe that to move with him as he moves. This takes a little bit of doing. First you want to set your first frame right on his face. Now we want to click on the keyframe so that we're going to start keyframing this. Click on circle. Now we've got this little plus mark here. I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to go ahead a few frames just to about where he's moving and now I'm going to move that to there and now you see we've created a keyframe here so that we're moving our circle with him. I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to go a little bit further and I'm going to keep adjusting this as needed. Try to keep the plus sign in kind of the same spot as he moves. So I'm going to try to keep it like right on the tip of his nose. And he's moving around a lot right now. Oh, see, now I accidentally grabbed an extra frame, so I'm going to control Z that. And keep moving that right on the tip of his nose. There we go. And now he has turned his head away from us. So if we go back and want to look at that now, our blurring follows him all the way across. And that's that.